Hi there, and welcome to The Useful Musician. You can call me BT. I'm here to be useful. And today, I'm looking at what I think just might be the cheapest, easiest solution to get a B bender on your electric guitar. Now, if you're like me, you've scoured all over the sites like Reverb, like Facebook Marketplace, looking for you a cheap old B bender so you can try it out. And you start to see they're expensive, or maybe they do a lot of damage to the guitar, or at least a lot of irreversible modification. So what we're going to look at today is this solution called the Rolling Bender. This is a little gizmo. It sticks into the bridge of the Telecaster, requires no permanent modification, just replaces your bridge saddle. And it's got a little lever that sticks out behind the bridge, and you push that down, and you got a B-Bender. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably know what a B-Bender is. But just in case, B-Bender is a gizmo what bends the B-string on an electric guitar. That gives a smooth bending sound, kind of like a pedal steel guitar. That's why a lot of country guitar players like it. But other genres use it too. The most common method of bending a string, or B-Benders, is something that attaches to or makes this strap peg mobile. So when you pull down on the guitar, the strap peg goes up, bends the B string. But those oftentimes have very complicated gizmotronicness, and, and you have to route out the whole back of the guitar. It can cost $1,000 just to get one installed. What if you're not sure if you want to use a B bender? There's not a really easy way to get in there and try it out. So today, we're going to put this rolling bender on that road-worn Telecaster and see how it goes. So I've not even opened up this package. I've not even looked at the instructions. We're gonna do that together, all right? So come with me, let's go to the workshop. All right, so here we are, friends. And first thing I wanna tell you, OBT is not a guitar tech. I don't really know what I'm doing here in terms of all the millimeters and stuff. There's a lot of millimeters going on, but uh, I think we can do it. This doesn't look too scary. Let's open it up. I've got the guitar here. I haven't even taken the strings off. I think I'm going to have to take the strings off because I think the strings are going to have to route through this rascal. But we'll see. All right. Let's open it up and see what we got. Ooh. And okay, we got some. Oh, don't want to drop it on there. Well, it is a roared worn. I guess that'd be fine. So here it is. It feels a little lighter coming out. Yeah, it feels pretty light. And it doesn't have a whole lot of whole lot of motion there to bend that, but you got all sorts of adjustments here. You got adjustments here. These are for tuning. Oh, Lord have mercy, I done broke it. Okay, that uh, just sits in there. Okay. Ooh, it looks like it's got a lock. I didn't know a thing about this, obviously. Looks like I can slide in. Hmm. Okay, we'll take a look. Now, let's see. we got some instructions up in here. Oh, ooh, it came with the... Good, I was worried. I have about 850 of these Allen wrenches, and I figured none of them would fit. So, um, we've got some of these replacement bridge saddle screws there. So, what this is going to do... Oh, Lord, I broke it again. Um, it's going to sit... How is it going to sit? Well, right there and replace that bridge saddle. And then this piece is gonna go there and be your B string saddle. Okay, so it's got nice drawings here about how to do that, the height adjustment. So I'm just gonna take a read here and see what these instructions look like and we'll get after it. I'm gonna see if I can do me one of these fancy uh, time-lapse on this. I don't know how to do that stuff. Anybody know how to make videos? I shouldn't be doing this. Hmm. Interesting. All right, we're going to have to put new strings on this thing. Do I have any new strings? Lord have mercy. I didn't even think about that. I got to have some strings around here. We're going to go find a pair of strings, a set of strings. So we're going to put 
these off. Okay, so now this guy goes in there, doesn't he? Okay. This thing comes out. That screw goes through the back, I believe. Oh. I think we can take this thing out for now. Look, if I had fingers that was this dexterous, I wouldn't need a bee bender. I can just do it with my hands. Hmm. At least I'm not making a big old hole in my guitar yet. So I don't know. Lower challenges. See, the main thing is if I was a guitar kick, I'd have to charge by the hour. This thing would cost a thousand dollars to install too, if I was doing it. If I was going to be smart, I'd do something like this right here, maybe. I don't know if it's smart or not. I just don't have it seated all the way in there. Okay, so it's in there. Oh, it's in there. I'll be a dog. All right. So now you actually mount string on to this thing somehow ah yes yeah, so you put the ball of the string in that thing right there and it goes up and through and then you seat it in there and you got your B okay so let's go find me a string let's see if we can reuse the one I got and yeah let's get at it all right whew had a pack of these slinkies here so we're gonna put new strings I'm just gonna do the two new ones for now. So here I got to make sure the string goes through that, not just the ball. Okay. And then we're going to route. I'm going to do this to the camera and thread that needle right there. Now I got to say the instructions, they have a video on YouTube. Can you believe it? And you believe it. They got a video on um, almost certainly doing it much better than I am and guess what of course I didn't even watch it but that's okay we're not gonna let that be a problem here okay that's sitting in there now do we have yeah we got all sorts of room up here so we're gonna go ahead and put this thing in and uh, see how we do okay okay so what we see is the string tension predictably pulling up the B Ooh, <laughs> it's bending the B. It's doing the thing. It feels real nice, actually. It's real. So I've got it kind of just press string. I got it in tune with the. It's probably going to take a while to warm that up. Ooh, I really like it. Okay, now I'm going to read up on this a little bit more. You've got the high stop here. Um, this tells you where to stop at its top bend. So you can, if it's too much, you, you push that down and it'll stop sooner. This is the low stop there. So you can kind of find the medium there. But that one's going to be hard to adjust with the string on. I think that action is a little high, so I can adjust that like a normal bridge there and there to raise or lower this. And I've got a little space to do it. It's hard to tell because the string is stretching, so. But I think it's a little high. So let's grab this other um, element here, I think the slightly skinnier one, and let's tighten that down a little bit.
Ooh, buddy. It's on there. That's it. Now, like I said, it's a little high. Action's a little high up there. I might go ahead and mess with that. I don't know. Actually, this thing kind of needed to set up anyway. I was getting a little some dead spots in the high frets, so we'll do that comprehensively later. All right, let's check it out. Here we are. We got the thing on there. Looks pretty good. Pretty unobtrusive. No permanent modifications to the guitar. Now, here's the thing. How does it work? I got to tell you, I don't know how to play a V-Bender. I've only messed around on one maybe a few minutes my brother had. Let's try it out. Uh... <laughs> wow i gotta say it's less awkward than i thought it would be it's a really easy motion i do the pick gets hung up on the bridge plate a little bit but sounds like a b bender and motion is a little awkward but it's way less than i thought and every B bender motion is a little awkward, especially when you first start trying it, like the time I tried using one before. So you tell me what you think. Is this useful to you? Is this something you'd want to try? You think this is a good solution for B bender? Drop me a comment below or something. Let me know. Also, if you like this video, if you found it useful, maybe hit the like button. Maybe if you're interested, hit subscribe because I got a few more videos I think I want to be sharing with you. So. This has been The Useful Musician. My name is BT. You have a good day.